What's going on, everybody? Welcome back, Madden 21 Miami Dolphin franchise. Thank you guys so much for watching, coming back, enjoying the series. We just beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, destroyed Baker Mayfield, 37 to 11. I have a feeling they're still going to make the playoffs. That defense is pretty stout. They played relatively well against us. We just had everything clicking. It was going to be tough for them. Next game up, we're taking on the New England Patriots. Ah, oh, this team. Bane of my existence. They consistently beat us. We are undefeated right now. I would really like to stay that way. Take a look at this, though. Not one, but two. Two breakout players. Neither one has a picture, so it could either be, like, a rookie, somebody that doesn't have a picture, or it could be one of the coaching staff. So let's take a look at the first one. You know, Coach, the more tape I watch on us, the more I think he's a superstar in the making. Did you see his touchdown last week? Keep an eye on him against the Pats. If he continues to dominate, we might have something special back there in the secondary. Who knew, right? Hold the Patriots to less than 150 passing yards. That is going to be tough. Or get two picks, two forced fumbles, two tackles for a loss, or two sacks. So... Multi-interception games, that's, that's tough for us. But hopefully we can kind of lock in and get, get a couple more. Um, I think we might be able to do... We just got to be a little bit aggressive. We'll be aggressive in this game, trying to either get the tackles for a loss, sacks, or drop back. Look at that Super Bowl trophy back there. Uh, or try and get the, the, the interceptions. But, you know, that three-interception game, that was, that was something. And the second one... Oh, Brian Hill. Yeah, I was really impressed with some of the plays he made, and I'd like to see if he can lead the charge against New England. Who knows, if he breaks out, we might have a franchise running back on our hands. So we had the same kind of situation with Miles Gaskin last season. Two touchdowns, 100 yards. We couldn't get the 100 yards with Miles last year, so we had the two touchdowns. Brian Hill's turn. The touchdowns, he he's a touchdown machine. The 100 yards, rushing and receiving. We should be able to knock that out. It'll be a little bit more challenging for us. Uh, we should be able to knock that out, though. I'm hoping that we're going to get two, two dev trade upgrades. So coming over here, we got Pochick. He's looking for two years, 7.9 mil. Let's throw him exactly that. Perfect. So we got Pochick back. Uh, Brian Hill, he wants three years, 9 mil, which is pretty good, actually. It's actually really good. Um. Yeah, let's mm, let's do let's do three. I'm excited. All right, perfect. So we got both of them. Let's go ahead and take on the New England Patriots. Let's get it. And here we go. The team that always gives us fits between them and Buffalo. It is no longer the Cam Newton show. Radon Randall is a quarterback now. Uh, so obviously we haven't seen him before, so we'll see how we play against them. Uh, Cam would have his little flashes. Some games he would do really well, some games he wouldn't. I don't think that's a tackle. Yeah, he gave the yard. All right. The Sony Michelle. He, if I remember right, he kind of ran all over us the last time we played them. I don't know if Randall is a runner. Nice catch. Road tried getting his hand in there. He wasn't able to make the stop. Jacoby Myers in the slot. First and 10 from the 42 yard line. Randall on the center. Sonny Michelle in the backfield. And there's number one. We are on fire. On fire. Give us the def Defensive Player of the Year trophy. I'm just going to take it. Oh, I tried bouncing it. Oh, that had so much potential. All right. The potential disappeared quickly. 
There's Preston putting himself together a very nice season. Parker, of course, always having a nice season. Seki's been a little bit quiet. Hasn't really done too much. Um, for Seth being hurt, we are going to focus a little bit more on the run. Not to be selfish and try and get him his... Uh, try and get him his dev trait, which is kind of part of it. Um, but when you're missing a huge party offense like that, you got to try and keep it as balanced as possible. I mean, we still have a stacked wide receiver core. Whenever you have Devante, maybe soft hand Gaseki, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, it, it's still not going to be easy. Still going to be a little bit of a challenge. Two a back and shotgun first and 10 from the 38. This Cam Sims getting in the action. But we'll say the one thing we got going for us between Devante, Cam, Preston, Siki. We got some height. It's like what the, uh, the Chargers always tried doing for Phillip Rivers. Getting those six foot four six foot five wide receivers the only difference is ours have speed nope oh all right i thought he was gonna get a little speed boost and jump that route but no such luck for him first and ten 24 yard line two back in the shotgun brian hill offset to the left there's Preston. Devontae tried robbing that pass. I saw you. I saw you extend your arms out there, buddy. Back on that side. You got... It's McCordy. I get it, but... I feel like that juke should have been... Should have been devastational. Is what it should have been. That was a terrible block. Austin Jackson. <laughs> Pochick. Fresh off his contract. Oh, man. Fourth and one. Cam Sims. Nice hands. Two big catches so far on this drive. Gaskin in. We'll see if we can get the edge. Let's see if we can get the edge. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful blocking. Didn't even have to do anything special. Blocking finally held up on that one. Gaskin with the touchdown. Poach it. You can stay in, buddy. Need to fight through that. Defense played pretty well in the first drive. Busted them a little bit. They came out of run. We were able to stop it. Got the interception. Oh, boy. Nas. Did Nas pick that? He caught that. He caught that. Oh, no. I thought Nas had it. Oh. Man, this dude has no qualms about launching the ball down the field. I like it. Got some cojones. Yeah, I know that's where it's going. Not quite fast enough. Second of five. Man, I love... Is that Dylan? Oh, God, I always hurt now. And for the end of every season so far, we have just been bitten by injuries. It's the weirdest thing. Oh, he got destroyed. Griffin was out there in the flat. Field goal. Right. Coming out in this air raid offense or something. Just bombing. Got yards, but we held him. 7-3. So the re-injury risk for Van Oy was high. He has a hit pointer. Uh, so I kept Shaq in. I know eventually Van Oy will get in there. Oh, nice broken tackle. 12-yard rush on that one. 
It was determined. First and 10, 37 yard line. Two are looking sharp so far. Another first down there. Looks like they're gonna bring a little bit of heat from the left side. We're running right toward it. <laughs> oh, alright. Okay. Let's block and punch it. Good effort. What I like to see. Oh man. Gain of nothing. There's pressing again. Oh you fumbled. Oh man. With review, please be down. Please be down. Yeah. Alright. Locked down on that one. Third and eight. We only gained two. Let's see if we can Yeah, we're not gonna get this off. End of the first quarter. 49 yard line back in the shotgun. Block guys. Pochick with a nice block there. Made up for his other one. Got the first down. 9 for 9, 67 yards. Not a lot of yards. Not really able to get it downfield yet. The Patriots usually play pretty sound. Defense. Oh, yeah. There's a touchdown. One of two. Got a lot of yards on that one. Bill's having himself a very good game. 36 yard touchdown. All right, defense. Let's do this again. I'm sure, he's going to take some shots down the field. Nice tackle there by Byron. James with the catch across the middle. Randall and shotgun. Oh, that was a big hit. Raekwon Davis. He's like twice the size. Randall is a smallish dude, it looks like. At least from here, he looks pretty small. Third and 16. Oh. Wilkins hit him that time. They called it an incomplete pass. I don't really know who was around him. Up 14 3. Starting on the 47 yard line. Really nice field position. Let's see if we can keep this pressure up. This oh, what a block from Devante. What a block. This team is blocking very nicely right now. 33-yard line, very balanced offense right now. Still going to motion, switching them up. There's Preston. Another block from Devante. Man, this team... Coming together. Coming together at the right time. We went through that little weird stretch, but we have been playing much better. Much, much better. There's Hill again. Yeah, just get in there. Second touchdown. I was going to try and beat him the outside, but he's that power, baby. Second touchdown of the game for Hill. The alarm signal should be going off. This is desperation time right now for New England. Yeah, that was a nice route. They had two guys. I couldn't really commit to one of them. I would rather let them get the short pass rather than chuck it deep. That was a nice play call. Up to the 44. Oh, that was just unfortunate. They crossed each other right as the ball was getting there. Oh, we got blocked. We were coming in. Tackle him, please. Please? He gained four yards on that. Slightly disappointing. We were coming on the blitz, and we had him dead to rights, and we just couldn't get off the block. Third and seven, 48 yard line. Yeah, that was 
One on one with a blocker. Yeah, that's gonna be tough for us. All day, every day. Person's heading 37 yard line, Randall under center. Nice tackle from us. He did gain a yard, so again, not a tackle for a loss. Night. Ooh. He took a shot. Wilkins, it looked like, held him up. And Nas came and delivered the knockout blow. Send everybody in motion, trying to get some mismatches. Doesn't look like they have one. Hard to tell, though. Nope, they did. I mean, it's not really a mismatch. Moses against the tight end, but... Brixer. I mean, we're making them work. They had decent field position, making them work a little bit. Ah! A little bit, a little bit too late on the reaction. Oh, that was a big hole. We brought him down, but he got a chunk. Had another sack. Van Ginkle came through on that one. See if we can get a little bit of pressure here. They can make a quick decision. Especially when they do this motion. In the middle here. Right across. Alright, nice tackle there by Rowe. Kept him from the first down. How are they going to go for it? Two minute warning is coming up. Up 21 to 3. I would be really surprised if they kick it though. Hmm. And I get it. They don't want the game to get crazy out of hand, but. Yep, I figured. I figured, and we stopped him. We didn't necessarily come out in the best run stopping defense, but. Minute 56. We got three timeouts. We could really put our foot down. Another nice run there. Randy Gregory is hurt. I believe that was one of their big free agent signings. Seki right there. A little bit of hurry up. We just now crossed, crossed the 100 yard threshold. This pressing again. Here's a timeout there. First and 10 for the 31. Nice defense. I thought we were going to be able to get the inside position and just take off from there, but didn't quite work out that way. Oh, Devontae, one-on-one, -on -one, man. You got to get that. Got to get that. Third and ten. Kind of let this drive go away a little bit. There's Gasicki. Kind of lost some yards there. They use a timeout. They got one left. Couldn't stop him there. Faster, 
And there it is. Number two. Get a touchdown. Cap it with a touchdown. Cap it with a touchdown. Oh, yeah. Oh. Whoa, we are taking a turn. Man. Start of the second half here. We have played exceptionally well. Offense, defense, everything is clicking. Taking care of the football. Taking the football away. We have five interceptions in two games. Us. Then we have seven total. Devontae with his first catch of the game. He was not really involved in the first half, but evidently we didn't really need him. Because look at that score. 28 to 3. Their offense is struggling a little bit, which rookie quarterback, that'll happen. I do look forward to uh to playing him though. He uh he takes some chances, and I like that. Pushes the ball down the field. They tried cheating. They tried holding my boy there at the 10. It was a little bit past the five yards. But he still makes a catch. Nice little run there. Good blocking. He's about to have his 100 yards. They already got two touchdowns. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. He shot that gap, made the tackle in the backfield. Very, very nice play. I like that a lot. Let's see. Just fit that into the tightest of circles. Down to the four-yard line. Back in scoring position. Parker has three catches on this drive alone. He's getting big chunks on each one, too. They're coming down, trying to close up. Stop us from scoring here. Oh, I thought he was going to have the arm strike to get it through there. Tried. Tried fitting the needle. Nice defense. Yep. All right. St getting a little greedy. Getting... Getting a little greedy. Just gotta calm it down here. We've already been close to leading the NFL in interceptions. I'm pretty sure over a two two year period we're we're definitely leading. But we'll settle for a boring field goal. Best kicker in the NFL gets a trot on the field, do a little chip shot. First and ten, 25 yard line. Randall out of the shotgun. Nice play right there. Nine yards. Four. Or ten. I don't think he crossed the line, but... Not really going to get too bent out of shape about it. James, three catches, 35 yards. Fabian has two tackles. Still going to run the ball. Interesting choice. Eric Rowe with the tackle there. Seven rushes for 17 yards. I'd say we... Uh, Shut him down nicely. Doing a little bit of a hurry up, I guess. Interesting. They run the ball to immediately go to a hurry up to run the ball again. Good decision making. Good decision making, guys. Third and eight. 37 yard line. Man, after the way they came out firing, I really expected them to just keep up that pressure. Just keep bombing it out, I guess. The two picks really, uh, nice tackle there by Jerome. Two picks really threw him off. With the way this game is going, I hope you guys don't judge too hard. Uh, doing a little bit of running the clock out. Another nice run there. I mean, we're kind of running through this defense. Our offense is struggling a little bit. They're not really taking advantage of... Coming out on fire like they did. 
which I get it. You throw two picks, you take a couple, take a couple sacks. There's the rookie Albert right there. It makes you a little gun shy, but that can be a really, a really exciting offense if they just keep taking chances. Just be like Brett Favre. Just launch it. Whatever happens, happens. Like a little Ryan Fitzpatrick. Throw four picks, you throw four picks. You also might have four touchdowns with that too. Playing as conservative as they just got, it just... It doesn't help. It doesn't make it exciting. Kind of puts a tarnish on it, to be honest. It was, it was a lot of fun. Look at this. This defense. This isn't the same Patriots defense from two years ago. Even last year. Last year they played pretty well too. But I think part of it, uh, after just coming from that Steelers defense, every other defense is really not going to look great. They just have to try and confuse me with... Okay. I'm not taking back my words. Defense is soft. Okay, they just sacked me. Soft defense. Not impressive. Sicky with the little gain. We haven't gotten a ton of yards through the air, as you can see, 194. Uh, it's mostly been focused on the ground. Four seconds left in the first. <laughs> Alright, Josh Jones. Okay. It's going to make us punt? Are you kidding me? Best field goal kicker in the NFL, and you're going to make me punt. We have the wind. Mercifully, we are here in the fourth quarter. 34-3. This offense has done a great giant ball of nothing. Oh, he broke that sack? And he launched it? Yeah, I... My guy was exhausted. Just running around back there. Get a couple more DBs out here. I play just exhausted our defense. I feel like maybe from the beginning of games so I just gotta I just gotta run my mouth. It seems to backfire more times than not. 210 yards for Randall. Two over on the sideline celebrating. Well deserved. Another very game manager type game. Danoy out there, back in the game, made the tackle. I feel like this offense could be something special. They need some they need some playmakers. Jacoby Myers is good. Berkser has a couple catches. He's not really explosive. There's another one. I feel like it could be, especially if he does take that little next step and makes the decisions to be able to just Chuck the ball down the field. He has the arm strength. He hasn't really run too much. That was a mismatch right there. Punches on Moses. I would have liked to have held them to three points in this one, but, you know. Defense slacks off a little bit in the fourth quarter when you're up by this much. They ran the ball again. <laughs> Baker with another tackle. You guys are moving the ball. Why? Why run it? Works are in motion. Ran it again. Stop him again. Then rushes 23 yards. Averaging 2.3. Third and five, 11 yard line. Out in the flat. He did not get that first down. Left the ball in the left hand. Didn't get there. 
mean, I guess if there's ever a time that they're going to run the ball, it would be right now. And we held him up long enough. We didn't make the tackle, but we stopped him. Baker there to clean it up. And thankfully that one's over. 34 to 3. I was just beat down from start to finish. Really nothing they were going to be able to do there now when the defense couldn't stop the run. Our offense got some yardage, but they, they couldn't do anything against our defense. Randall came out firing to start and quickly slowed down. Once he started taking some shots, once he threw some interceptions, it was, it was pretty much over from that point. 74.5, 20 to 26, 252 yards, 76%. Zero passing touchdowns, two interceptions. Tua, had a, he, had a, he had a game. I mean, there's not really much you could say. 21-25, 213 yards, 84%. No touchdowns, no picks. Not bad. Not great. I didn't even realize Cam Newton played in this game. It, what, did he have the shovel pass on the field goal? I didn't even know he was still on his team. One for one, three yards. 100%. Congratulations, bud. Russia-wise, absolutely killed it on the ground in this game. 24, 161, 6.7 on the ground against a notorious rush defense in the Patriots. Two touchdowns. Sonny Michel, we held him in check. 1.8. You kidding me? Professional football player, 1.8. Miles Gaskin, 5 of 31, 6.2, one touchdown. A good game from him. He is uh He's doing well in the backup role. He's not getting a ton of yards, obviously. He's not getting a lot of carries, but he's making the most of his opportunities when he gets them. Gusecki, eight catches, led the way on that. As far as yardage goes, Jacoby Myers, five catches, 92 yards. Preston Williams led us, six for 64. Gusecki, eight of 60. Parker, three of 58. That all came on one drive. For three quarters, we didn't really need him. Just gave him a break. Punches, four of 57. And Ferkser, five of 48. Not the most of exciting in passing games. Myers... In close, he usually puts up pretty decent numbers against us. Defensively, J.J. Parker. Man, this rookie from Fresno State, he went off. 12 tackles. He played real well. Uh, J.C. Jackson had 9. Jonathan Jones, 9. He also had those two sacks on that one. One drive. Jerome Baker had 7. Hightower, 7. Rowe had 6. Moses, 6. Kyle Duggar, 6. McCourty, 6. What do we get? 4. Eh. That's all right. Tackles for a loss. Baker, Shelton for the Pats, Duggar for the Pats. We had one. Not bad. Two sacks for Jonathan Jones, one for Van Ginkle, one for Raekwon Davis. Each team had two. Interception wise, we had two. Read it beautifully. I'm pretty sure we already know the answer, but let's go take a look, see if both of our guys got those dev trade upgrades. Go ahead and take a look at the first one. I believe that was us. I knew it, I knew it. Out there, not a fluke. Guys, a big time talent. Ooh, superstar. We made it. We made it, guys. Superstar dev trait. We're finally going to get a couple abilities as long as we're high enough rated. I know we're still not rated that high. And it's the Brian Hill. How about that game from Brian Hill? I've always thought of him as a serviceable backup, even back in college. But if we develop him properly, I think he could be a special player. And there he is, star development. I was hoping he would have took that double leap, but his stats really... I mean, he killed it in that game. But the ones that they were asking for, that was first star. So he moved up. He's a star now. Let's go ahead and take a look here. 77 overall. I actually haven't looked at his overall or anything in a while. 77 is higher. I, I believe when we started this franchise, he was a 50... 53? 56? He was in the 50s. But 77 overall. Let's see what abilities we can get for him. All right, so one of them's going to be unlocked until he hits 85. That's fine. Defenders with disability can reach out, engaged blocks, or tackle or sack nearby block. That actually might. I mean, I always say it looks real good and then I change it to something, but players with disability have an increased chance to catch passes. Defenders force more catch knockouts in any flat. We play too far from playing flats. Oh, deep zone. React quicker in deep zone coverage. 20 plus yards from the line of scrimmage. Force more catch knockouts. Defenders with disability have better conservative dive tackling. Rarely faked out. Cannot be faked out when user controlled. That. Secure. 
increase success rate when using conservative or diving tackles. What is the difference? Tackle supreme. Barely faked out. Better conservative. And this one is just increased success rate. Okay. Defenders are rarely faked out. Defenders with ability. This is for corners. Strip specialist. No outsiders. Faster run shed moves. Shedding blocks against outside zone plays. Frequently attend to win impact blocks against receivers, tight ends, and running backs. Um, defenders with this ability have an increased success rate, conservative or diving. Defenders with this have better conservative dive tackling, rarely faked out, cannot be faked out when user controlled. I mean, we're going with that one. Tackling has been our bugaboo since the start of this. Getting off blocks also, but man, we could have so many more tackles, tackles for loss than what we have. We missed out on a couple sacks early in the season because it just bounced off them. I think it was Josh Allen. I don't remember now. But there we go. So he has that. Um, stars don't get anything if I'm right. Doesn't even show him. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, he doesn't get anything. All right, so both of them got exactly what they were looking for. Uh, Brian Hill is now a star. 26, 74 overall. Uh, we are absolutely killing it in the secondary there. Five interceptions in two games? Are you kidding me? Ed Reed, better watch out. Coming. I'm pretty sure he has the most interceptions for uh, safety in NFL history. Coming for it. We're going to take it. This season. Probably not this season. If we can get 10, I will be absolutely ecstatic. So the last two games, we have absolutely demolished. Playing as a team, offense, defense, no turnovers, forcing a lot of turnovers. This is the potential of this team. This is what we can do. 8-0, still undefeated. Getting into the second half of the season, going toward the playoffs. We're going to see if we can keep it going. It's not going to get easier. We just need to maintain. Keep playing as a team. I appreciate all you guys for tuning in and watching. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you haven't yet, if you can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, I would really, really appreciate it. I see the views are going up in these videos recently. If there's any suggestions for the team you guys have, I want to start including uh, you guys in decision making, who we should resign, if there's any free agents we should go for, anybody that we shouldn't resign. People, uh, I'm going to start focusing a little bit more on the draft uh, to try and get you guys into that too. I would like to start streaming the drafts once, we're, once we get you know some more interaction and stuff on the videos. Uh, I know there's enough people interested. I would like to live stream them so you guys can, uh, you know, play GM while we're, while we're in the middle of it. So, again, I appreciate it. All the support, guys. And until next time, see you.